Hi, John Elaine here from Harcourt's Pinnacle Asplay. I just wanted to do my very first video blog. As a few of you may have seen, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video blog with Danny Hayes from Hayeswinkle. Had, a, had so much fun doing it, I decided to start one. So the topic for my very first video blog today is basically work smart, not uh, work smarter, not harder. Um, very, very close to heart because basically, you know, for the first four years of my life in real estate, I've worked pretty tough, you know, you know, 70 hours, 80 hours a week. You guys will know what I'm talking about. In the last 12 months, I've worked no more than 45 hours a week. Um, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm, pretty much finishing work by 5 p.m. every day I'm starting work at 10 a.m. I'm starting work at 10 a.m. every morning but at the same time we've taken nine I've taken nine holidays this year and one more to go at the end of the year so I wanted to share my experience to help you agent you know help anyone out there basically to you know to reassess what you guys are doing to make more money but at the same time working a lot smarter as well so the first thing that that started the process is I think you guys really need to spend a bit of time sit down and pull your entire system from prospecting plan all the way through what you do in no negotiation what you do in marketing what doing settlement and basically cut the process down into a very very fine line and decide what's dollar productive and what's not dollar productive you'll find that from talking personally to a lot of agents, both in Victoria as well as in Queensland, I've realized that there's a lot of agents that are doing things that are non-dollar productive, that are useless, that, that doesn't create you know, any more opportunity for them, doesn't get better price for the vendor. So basically, they're doing it to make themselves feel better, that they're working, that they're working harder. So basically, by having great systems that are streamlined, great systems that can put, you know, that, that, that basically allows you to do things without having to, to think too much, without having to worry, basically is, you know, is the key as well. And a huge part of that is is the part of my life that have changed this year that have allowed that have given me so much more time of my time of my social time of my personal time is basically by getting the price right so what we tend to find is according to RP data in our area here our average days is over 90 days the average start to finish price is basically 10% as you both most of you would agree if you were to get the price right from day one let's say two to three percent from that actual selling price the property will sell probably within 14 to 21 days am I right so what I've done is this year more than 80% of my properties are being sold within 21 days and by doing that basically it cuts out a lot of work that has to happen after that so I'm doing the right thing by my vendor I'm getting them the right the, the best price the market has to offer within the quickest possible period of time with the least stress to them so so ultimately, that's the most important thing for me, doing what's right by my client. But at the same time, the side effect of, of being honest and getting the price right from day one ensures that, you know, that you're, you know, that you're not working overly hard, you're not working crazy hours just to get the same result at the end of the day. So the difference is if, you know, if you're an agent out there that's managing 20 listings at once, for example, if you have 20 listings that is taking 90 days to sell, you're going to have, you know, for the eight, nine weeks, you're going to have 20 open homes. 20 vendor reports, 20 more inspections, blah, 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 blah. So as you go on and on and on, you see how the hours start to add up and you start realizing that you're not actually making more money, but you're working harder. So this is a huge part for, for my life this year. Unless the property is priced within my range, which is what I perceive as the right price, I will not take on the listings. Ultimately, you know, I, I see value in, in what I do and I'm very confident in what I do. And and so basically, the the, you know, the benefit of that is, at the end of the day, when you get the property at the right price, it will sell very quickly, your clients are very happy with you, and you know without fail that you have got them the premium that no other agent would have, you know, agents that are overpricing and dropping the price. So one thing is, look, that's, that's all I've got to say today, you know, enjoy yourself guys, and I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you.